What's up, Sagittarius Collective? Thank you for joining me for your energy reading. If it's your first time joining me, my name is Keita. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Y'all, I'm so excited about y'all's reading. I just did um, Scorpio's reading. It was dope. But when I finished that one, I heard to pick a um, one of my decks that comes with like an extensive, uh, I call them extensive reading decks because the book description of the cards is extensive. We talk about like three or four pages long, right? So I was led to pull one of them. And so I looked over to where I keep those decks and the roomy Oracle deck was really standing out and what that tells me is there's a very poetic message that's coming through for you guys possibly about love but not necessarily um and that you all are needing a more extensive message to come forward and so in obedience to the most high god i'm gonna be the one to bring it to you so sit tight and we're gonna tap in with some tarot i'm going to clarify with the um wisdom of the hidden realms and then i'm going to be pulling from the roomy oracle and the 111 may be significant to you guys as i just noticed 111 on the timer which is very specific to um new beginnings and also being in alignment so we're gonna check in because after getting that message of needed to do an extensive uh do uh the reading with one of my decks that has extensive reading i was like damn what y'all got to say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I really want to know. I'm really intrigued to see what Brother Rumi um, wants to bring forth for you guys. And if you're not familiar with Rumi, Rumi is a very um, um, well-known uh, poet. So, that is your child. Let's see, Father God, Mother Earth, Ancestors, and Spirit Gods, I ask that you bring forth the best message for the highest good of the Sagittarius Collective as we seek to know and understand, become more aware of this summer solstice energy and what it is bringing forth for the Sagittarius Collective at this time. I thank you for this opportunity to be a messenger of your love and light and i ask that you bring forth the best message for the highest good of the sagittarius collective at this time two cards just jumped out the deck they fell out kind of sideways and well no actually it's three and they all fell face down so this may be something that's in your blind spot that you're not aware of but you're about to get aware right so at let's see at the top of the deck you have the ten of cups what the fuck i tell y'all I said, this might be a love message because if I'm led to pull from the Rumi Oracle, Rumi talks about divine love, sacred union, and things of that nature a lot. So you got the Ten of Cups, ultimate emotional fulfillment, a happily ever after, family, belonging, community, support, joy. Um, underneath the Ten of Cups, you got the Nine of Pentacles, liberation, freedom, having a um a high standard luxury whatever that looks like uh for you independence and then you got a 10 and a nine the two of wands so the two of wands speaks to like partnership um like wanting to do something or plan something or bring forth something but but looking out at your options and the vast majority of resources and opportunities available to you and then choosing from those what energies best align with you in partnership right so with the ten of pentacles the nine of pentacles and the two of wands the nine of pentacles is a very attractive uh energy this is one who definitely does not chase she attracts she just do her thing you like it you like it you don't you don't you know what i'm saying and you either meet her standard of living or connection 
or you don't. And with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, that's very much giving like being in a love connection, a sacred union, a divine union where an individual has their independence, their freedom, their liberation with this Nine of Pentacles, but also partnership. Somebody they want to work together with and can see themselves like conquering the world with. Ooh. At the top of the deck, you actually got... Oh, what is these cards that's sticking out, Lord? Okay. I've gotten to the point now where I'm also paying attention to shit that's sticking out in the middle of the deck. Not just the top of the deck and the bottom of the deck. But at the top of the deck, you have justice. This is balance. This is alignment. This is truth. This is harmony. And it can be marriage. So somebody got love on the brain. They got like a couple of forevers, like Chrisette Michelle say, on the brain. And they're ready to go from this nine of pentacles, doing it all by yourself, single energy to partnership with the two of wands, still wanting to maintain their liberation and their freedom to a degree but understanding that when we're in relationship we don't own each other we don't possess each other we get to experience one another and therefore we're that keeps us grateful for having um the opportunity to experience one another so you got this justice energy and then you got the ace of wands this is somebody ready. Somebody is ready. They're passionate about something and they want a passionate new beginning. I told you I saw 111 and the ace represent ones, right? Somebody is passionate about something, possibly very sexually um, driven, but not just from a lustful place. This is like divine passion, sacred lust. This is it's love because now that some balancing has taken place justice has taken place and possibly even some karma has taken place in this situation this person wants to come forward with this new energy with the ace of wands Ooh okay I'm going to clarify this a bit more with the wisdom of the hidden realms and I got a message coming for me in this reading oh just got a message from one of my panelists about the event yesterday and how much they enjoyed it when I tell y'all whatever it is that God is leading you to do in this life do it don't fight it don't resist it just listen <laughs> make sure that you are obedient to your calling and if you resonate with what i'm saying you may want to check out the scorpio reading because it was very much um in alignment to the ancestor slides for your girl oh my god that's so funny how the message is coming through as i'm doing this reading um because whatever it is that you're being led to do, if you're resisting it, you, you get all of this struggle and strife and just hard times and the karma that comes along with resisting it. But the reward of answering your call and following the signs and synchronicities. Y'all, I was led to do this summer solstice and I had no clue how I was finna get this shit done. Oh my God, I ain't got no money to be hosting no events. And then I had to check myself about my I am presence. I had to remind myself of who the fuck I am and how my ancestors be sliding for me. I was like, yo, when have they ever let you down? Like on some real shit, even through the tough times, when have the ancestors, spirit guides ever let you down? If you're being led to it, you're going to be led through it. And when I tell you all of the resources were falling in alignment, I had so many people that were like, let me help, let me do this, and like, cash after me and like I was able to get things to bring the summer solstice into fruition the way that I 
I had envisioned it, the vision I had been given. And with this Two of Wands energy right here, this is very much a visionary energy. Looking out from like a balcony with the, knowing that you have the world in your hands and that whatever it is, whatever vision you have is not just on some daydream and shit. You actually can have it. This is that type of energy that is coming forward here. Spirit, please clarify this message for the, let me quit preaching. <laughs> this message for the Sagittarius Collective. Clarify the message that is coming forth here for the Sagittarius Collective at this time. Gaia's Garden. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow, represented by the number 18, which gives you a nine. When I tell you the nine of pentacles reaps the harvest of what she the the seeds that she has planted she's standing in her garden and she's reaping the baby them grapes she about to turn it into some wine she about to make her a little charcuterie board she about to enjoy the fruits of her labor i put in the work now it's time for me to have some freedom and independence some sovereignty to be myself and do my thing and enjoy this life that i have built for myself i planted the seeds and now i am receiving the harvest and you got that being clarified here with gaia's garden fruition something is coming into fruition and it involves a partnership as a result of somebody being emo somebody's emotional fulfillment with the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck you i mean at the top of the deck you have the high lord of gratitude and service i was just gonna say somebody made somebody feel like a pot of gold made them know their worth contributed to them raising their vibration contributed to them having an awakening and being enlightened and and, and having um knowing their worth in some sort you help somebody in some selfless way either you or you or somebody helped you you help somebody or somebody helped you and somebody's in this energy of the high lord of gratitude and service they're grateful for whatever selfless act that you did whatever act of humility whatever conscious action that you did to create this ten of cups for them to make them feel welcome to make them feel safe to make them feel secure to make them feel loved they're grateful and that's represented by the number two the high lord of gratitude and service and then the other number two card you got here is what the two of wands you made them you brought them peace like this buddha here right and um when i think of buddhism i very much think of inner peace and outwardly exuding peace but this man is sitting here he's smiling his skin glowing he, he looking youthful and he has a lotus in his hand which represents uh, getting it out the mud growing through the hard times the tough times the dirty murky dark times and pushing forward toward the light like lotuses do lotuses grow in dark damp musty murky uh environments and they push through all of that shit to reveal their beautiful blossoming petals so that is beautiful and as a result of somebody's um gratitude for someone's service somebody's now able to see the bigger picture this is damn near the same reading that came through in the sagittarius uh in the scorpio reading itself but at the bottom of the deck with, with the divine animal power card we got the red crowned crone and it was uh the reward that was being reaped for somebody's um selflessness and humility was loyalty somebody wanting to give their loyalty in return for how someone else helped them you got the eagle king the big picture angelic help represented by the number 12 definitely a cycle shift because you got at the top of the deck the number two and then at the bottom of the deck the number 12 and that's a 10 difference so yeah the wheel is definitely spinning as the uh, major arcana in the tarot is represented by of the uh, wheel of fortune is represented by the number 10. The wheel is definitely spinning in somebody's favor and it's bringing a passionate new beginning. And if you've been celibate or you've been apart from your partner or whatever the case, honey, this is some uh, 
snooky. <laughs> I don't know what y'all call it this, these days. I got a bunch of names for it. But you know, the one is often um, um, representing phallus energy, the penis, masculinity. So this is a strong one, a, fa a fiery, passionate one. But it's coming with some new, creative, sexual, passionate energy. It is summertime, ain't it? I feel like summer. I'm trying to tell you the summer solstice is not playing. Don't y'all sleep on the energy of the sun. Somebody is in their raw energy. If you're familiar with comedic spirituality, you know that Ra is representative of masculine energy, um, science, math, logic. So tap into um, your Ra energy. And now it's time to get into what Rumi got to say. Somebody's seeing the bigger picture, though. And they know who they see in the bigger picture. And they want to come in and be reciprocal and offer angelic help to someone who has offered angelic help to them. They're no longer seeing things from a caterpillar's perspective, but seeing things from the perspective of the butterfly. The caterpillar is going to see things from the ground. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't got enough money in my 3D reality for this. I don't have um, just, you know, all the, the, the material things that as a part of our human experience are important. But they're now also able to see things from a more elevated level with the eagle king. And that is beautiful. And that is the thing that's going to help them be able to bring the vision into fruition. As a visionary, they're going to be able, like I was able to do with the summer solstice picnic and panel, they're going to be able to bring their vision, their dreams, their hopes into fruition. And this is involving a love connection. This ain't no, it might be. This is involving a love connection. So, Spirit, please clarify this message for the Sagittarius Collective at this time. What message is coming forward for Sagittarius Collective? I'm going to split the deck. Because I don't want but one card. And then, of course, I'll let y'all know what's at the bottom of the deck. Spirit says, split it again. Star Mother Arrakis, represented by the number 23, which breaks down to a five. There's definitely a shift taking place. Let's see. How about I went straight to the page of Sacred Union? So it says, be the king who has made his own kingdom. Be the moon that has made her own summit. How much longer will you cuckoo like a pigeon? Empty your head of all mortal lust and become life without breath. You will not call out for God anymore, for you have become immersed in God. Yes. God, tapping into that God energy, that goddess energy. No longer playing small and being a wolf in sheep's clothing, but actually showing up as the wolf that you are, living the life that you were divinely created to live and no longer participating in mortal lust, but sacred lust. This is dope. Your star mother, Arrakis, dances with your soul on the celestial inner planes. She dances in the embrace of Father's sky, shining white and pale, deep in devotion to the light behind all that is. Arrakis, dancing star of the heavens, incites our souls to feel the rhythm of life and surrender in it, it in flow, in grace, stumbling, and in play. Like a child who thinks not of the right steps, but just moves with music and with joy, she reminds you to dance freely and from your heart. She reminds you that your soul is constantly dancing with the divine. What better way to connect with the joy and beauty of your own soul than to mimic its movement? So dance, beloved. Let your being dance. O oh, Arrakis, your bright beauty penetrates even the darkest of minds to remember, remember, remember. She calls out. Her voice is music to our hearts. You are a child of heaven. You are born of such regal stuff. 
Dear dancing child of the stars, when you suffer, I send you my comfort as stars falling from the sky. When you triumph, my dance becomes wild and light erupts from my heart in all directions. The light becomes music stirring within you with an urge almost inexplicable and yet so very deep and real. To make music, to create art, to dance, to play, to be at one with the joyful creative energy that dwells within you, beloved. Somebody is being able to tap more into their creative energy with this Ace of Wands. They, they're getting like a new passion and lease on life as a result of this Ten of Cups energy where someone planted a seed within them that helped them to understand that um, nurturing that part of themselves is just as important as living in this 3d reality and taking care of attending to the things in this 3d reality and ultimately leading somebody to remember who the fuck they are because it says here your bright beauty penetrates even the darkest of minds to remember 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 somebody has been helped by an earth angel to remember who the fuck they are it says, star child, earth angel, divine creature, your star mother keeps an eye on all the wild games happening in the sacred playground of the earth. She will care for you, righteous and true, shining divine justice and protection. We got justice. Somebody has been protected throughout this whole situation with divine justice so that this thing can come into alignment. No bully shall prevail over you. No bully from within you shall prevail either. No lies, deceit, or injustice shall temper your wild truths. Be demanding and claiming her love for you. Learn how to love yourself as she loves you with wild, unconditional, passionate regard. Be like the child wailing for its mother. Ma, 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 come close. Whoa. This is confirming the shit out of what I said. Somebody was suffering from imposter syndrome. And the divine sent them an angel to, the, to remind them, you're that guy. You're that girl. Stop sleeping on yourself. It's more to life than this shit that you entertain and invest in. God created you to do and be more. You are more. So take them fucking, what they call them, uh, take them stunner shades off. <laughs> and let the world see the real you. Then she descends like a torrential downpour of devotional light. A tsunami of affection is unleashed. A rampaging cosmic tigress hurtles towards you, her claws gripping the fabric of the skies as she rushes to protect her beloved cub. She will fight for you against the forces that will dull you and dumb you down, obscure, obscure your brilliance, and stullify your freeform dance into strict choreographed movements. <laughs> We are not meant to live by this humdrum routine that the world would have us to believe that we are meant to live by. And um, we're not meant to live according to the patriarchy and, and the dictates of the matrix. We're meant to be wild and free. We're meant to be colorful and to dance. We're meant to be sovereign. We're meant to live like this nine of pentacles, enjoy the fruits of uh, Gaia's garden. So it says here, she will pour her luminous essence into every crevice of your de demanding soul. Nothing can resist her light. All shall be washed and revived in the outpouring of her luminous love. Then, sated and content, you are the child, so secure in the love of the mother. You trust in life implicitly and in what is brought to your door. You do not succumb to untruths. You do not resist because you are safe, held in the love of the mother. I told you somebody made somebody feel comfortable, safe, secure, and nurtured, like family. You have no need to resist. What is there to resist? Nothing. There is only the loving truth in your world and all is at peace in your heart. And should there be cause to stand up and fight for love, for freedom, for light, for her truths of unconditional life, respected and honored, well... You should be particularly equipped for success. If whatever this is that is unfolding, this reward that's being reaped, this desire, this passionate new beginning, if it comes with some, some struggles, some people who are against it, some naysayers, you're equipped to handle that. Don't let that be the reason why you don't surrender, that you don't take divine action, that you don't 
see things from a higher perspective or from higher consciousness and move forward as you're being divinely led because you are equipped for success in war and in love it says when there is that war to fight you shall be the warrior who do who defends the motherland i'm absolute in your devotion to her ways and empowered through her vast indefatigable triumphant power and shall you bludgeon your way with brute force and fear of course not so here's your guidance lay down your old weapons for new technology awaits you you're gonna have to handle shit differently the way you used to would cuss a motherfucker out or how you used to would handle things you're gonna be able you're gonna have to pick up some new tools and fight a different way um now that you operate from a higher consciousness and now that you are the eagle king and you see the big picture you can fight in a way that exudes i have angelic help i got a team of soldiers a clique <laughs> of ancestors there's thousands of them there's zillions of them the star family and like archangels and it's so my team are like so fucking thick it's gang gang i don't have to fight fire with fire i don't have to um be competitive with you the way i would when i was operating from a lower level of consciousness when i was letting my lower self lead me now that i'm letting my higher self lead me i'm gonna deal with you but i'm gonna deal with you differently so it says lay down your old weapons for new technology awaits you it is the most magnificent of forces that of divine alignment of surrender to the star mother and her way of luminous potency from her great vantage point the vastest problems of our earthly mindsets are merely in need of a quick whipping by the tail of a comet and this she easily achieves by flicking a strand of her hair or poking out her tongue in the hands of a greater being even your deepest trials will succumb to divine victory <laughs> your ability to take the journey will be strengthened and your success only a matter of the passing of time can you give yourself this gift this blessing of the love power and protection of your star heritage we all descend from the stars but some of us are asked to remember to acknowledge the divine parentage from which we came and to allow the innate divine dignity within to restore us to faith in the path here on earth no matter how dark life on earth may seem at times when we remember our holy heritage we can also realize ah yes i am blessed held as one with the mother who shall not be deterred from great holy purpose i shall prevail i forgot that and feared but now i remember and am determined once more then you shall feel joy and be inclined to dance to sing to make your art and to live fearlessly once again so there's a sacred ritual that comes with this it's it's pretty short so i'm gonna share it with y'all it says open your hands up above your head and say through unconditional love and divine mercy through the blessings of the ancient master and sages including brother Romy, who loves without condition i call upon the blessings of the stars the remembrance of my divine heritage and the gift of spiritual success i call upon the assurance of my soul's triumph and the luminous embrace of the Holy Mother. I honor my soul's need for art and for expression and for creativity now from a pure and loving place within me. So be it. That is so beautiful. It reminds me of when I was at this point on my journey, uh, working in corporate America, sitting at a cubicle, and I just, I heard a voice. And that boy said, this is the boringest shit ever. It does not give you any allowance for creativity. It's just like no way for you to impart your personality, your spark, your medicine into this situation. All you do is count, crunch numbers, push papers, and have meetings. <laughs> and I was looking around like, y'all don't hear that shit? It was loud. And it was my voice. <laughs> But it was loud. And from that point on, I knew I had to make a shift because I wasn't allowed to be creative. And it wasn't worth the the nice pay, the um, 
the benefits, the way I was able to travel and the lifestyle I was living, but it wasn't worth smoldering my creative energy, my creative fire, not having a creative um, outlet. And so from there, so many shifts took place. You know what I'm saying? I ended up getting another job that allowed me more freedom and helped segue into what I do now, which is all of this. Um, but that was the beginning of it for me. And so for many of you, you may relate and be at that point on your journey where you're realizing that the way you've been living has not allowed you to live up to your creative potential. And so I wish you well in all of your endeavors. I thank you for your support as you all have been rocking with me and showing up for me with everything that I am bringing to the table. If you are needing a personal reading, feel free to email me at turquoisemajesty at gmail.com. If you um, happen to like the message, don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you'd like to donate, um, you can make a donation. Um, and that information is at <laughs> the bottom of the deck, y'all, from the Rumi Oracle, from nothing to everything. That's exactly what happened. I feel like I went from nothing to everything because that was like the beginning of my awareness of my spiritual journey. And this card is represented by the number 16, which breaks down to a seven. So you're very much being divinely led to a new passion and creative beginning in your life. Um... The donation information is in the description box below. And I think that's everything. So with that being said, y'all, until next time, peace.